A teacher at Taft wanted to do something special for his students in his astronomy class, so he built his own planetarium. Now, even students who aren't in the class like to stop by and check it out. Eyewitness News video journalist Jason Eggleston captured the classroom that's the talk of Taft. I, I basically have set the classroom up so that the kids are constantly engaged. And the easiest way to do that is to, to like make it almost like a, like a museum where there's all kinds of exhibits, there's lots of things that the kids just really want to see and ask questions about. Come on in next, CJ. The kids absolutely love it. Uh, and, and I have random children who I don't even know who aren't even in my classes walk in and want to know what it is and they want to go in it. It's just a whole new cool environment. Like it's not the same as any other classroom. I'd rather be in here compared to any other one. As the Earth rotates, it makes it look like the stars are moving. If you are in a three-dimensional environment, you can actually visualize how the stars move through the night sky. I'm really into space. I really like it. And coming in and seeing how, how much he enjoys it too and how much he puts his time and effort into teaching us in the classroom. Um, it really just excites me as a student. Because uh, it's, it's, it's eye-catching and that's all I need. I just need just one question and then I can, I can teach them whatever I can possibly get in there. But they enshrine their understanding of the stars into everything. It's, it's one more way that we can just kind of grab kids and, and just show them, you know, this is possibly something that, that you could do. This is, this is really interesting stuff. I, I go and I do this because I enjoy it. And I, I love seeing the kids' eyes light up and, and seeing just the expression that comes up across their face when they see it. And they go, I can't believe that. And he's like, well, here, let me show you this. And then, then I've got them. What an amazing teacher.